in this video we will see the what is adaptive voltage scaling generally we will see the dynamic voltage and frequency scaling that are the open loop circuit open loop circuit we will see that the that are the open loop circuit in in this adaptive voltage scaling this is this closed loop circuit what is the advantage in closed loop circuit means it will predict any drawbacks in the uh, it may be silicon is faster or silicon is slower if there is any temperature effect or any surrounding effect in silicon those drawbacks will be monitored monitored by this closed loop if there is any drawbacks in any drawbacks in the circuitry this will be monitored by this closed loop and overcome this drawbacks and will give a particular voltage according to that particular voltage and particular frequency according to that means that according to that it will scales the voltage and it will scales the frequency it will consider those drawbacks also why because the, uh, why why this consider the those drawbacks means it has a closed loop it has a closed loop in previously we will see in previous topics we will see the open loop systems for dynamic voltage and frequency scaling this is a closed loop system in this we will we will get an advantage uh, compared to the open loop systems in this we have a closed loop in the, uh, by using this closed loop we can achieve we can overcome the drawbacks that is any any slowness in this any slowness in this silicon or fastness in this silicon or any temperature effects or any surrounding effects in this silicon those those will be drawback those will be overcome and give a I'll give a suitable voltage and frequencies okay this is the advantage when using adaptive voltage scaling see this figure this is the system for adaptive voltage and frequency scaling see this one this building block is the the upper building block is uh, dynamic voltage scaling then the lower building block is dynamic frequency scaling this dynamic voltage scaling we have first generator delay synthesizer and delay detector in this you clearly see that this voltage scaling chip will be detect the delay if there is a delay any delay in the critical path we generally have circuitry we generally have used circuitry means that the signal is passing through the used circuitry then we have you definitely have a critical path if there is delay if there is any delay in the critical path according to that delay they will generate a voltage or uh, they will scale the voltage that 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 scales the voltage signal will give to the dc dc to dc converter this is the off chip converter this this is the on chip circuit this is then we call the scaling and then we frequency scaling and main logic this is the on chip on chip circuit this dc to dc converter is off chip one the signal that signal that signal is given to the dc to dc converter according to the signal the voltage is generated here they are the output of dc to dc converter once again i will tell that in this in then we call the scaling they will get they it will detect the delay what what of uh, how much delay will be happening in a critical path critical path means entire circuitry entire operating circuitry the how much how much delay will get we will calculate according to uh, by this then we call the scaling according to the delay they will generate a signal to the dc to dc converter according to the signal it will generate a particular voltage particular voltage that voltage is given to the main logic okay this is the functioning of a dynamic voltage scaling on chip then we will see dynamic voltage scale, dynamic frequency scaling on chip in this we have a activity monitor and frequency adjuster the activity monitor will get the get the signals from the main logic in in activity monitor they will get the signals from the main logic according to the signals the frequency adjuster will adjust the frequency and give a particular frequency okay this activity monitor will get the signals will get the signals means how much how much the frequency will be generated those signals will be getting from this from the main logic this uh, this activity monitor will give the signal to the frequency adjuster the frequency adjuster adjust the frequency and gives a particular frequency to the circuit particular frequency to a critical path or on the circuit non critical path that is the operation of this dynamic voltage and frequency scaling in this we have two we have two on chips that is one is dynamic voltage scaling and other one is dynamic frequency scaling dynamic voltage scaling is calculate the delay in a critical path how much delay we will get in a critical path according to that delay we, it will gives the signal to the dc to dc converter dc to dc to dc converter will generate a particular voltage according to that delay dot finally we will say that according to that delay it will generate a particular voltage okay then this dynamic frequency scaling also according to the requirement the activity monitor gives the signals 
the signal is represented by the how much frequency how much frequency will be generated this frequency adjuster here adjuster will generate the suitable frequency here okay this is the variable this is the dynamic frequency scaling or variable frequency generator this is the variable voltage generator the signal is given to the dc to dc converter the dc to converter will, will get will use the particular volt, particular voltage according to the signal then it will use the particular frequency according to this signals coming from the main logic to the activity monitor okay this is the entire circuit for a adaptive voltage scaling and frequency scaling by using this circuit we will overcome the drawback generally for generally we will see so far in a previous topics we will so we will see the open circuit open circuit this is the closed circuit in this closed circuit we will minimize the maximum drawbacks that's why it is used as a in uh, in real system this is used this is this system is used in the real systems in the real world this circuit is used in the real world to adjusting the voltage scaling and frequency scaling okay, in order to adjust the frequency and voltage scaling we will uh, we will achieve the less power consumption and reduce the power dissipation this adaptive voltage scaling circuit is very useful for a portable devices the devices which has battery when when you use this circuit you have more advantages means the energy consumption is decreased means the battery life is increases okay this is the concept of adaptive voltage scaling